Kia ora, I'm Shuri Kinnear and this is the COVID-19 news update for Thursday. New Zealand officially reached the 90% double dose milestone today, with children also given the green light to get vaccinated from early next year. It came as 91 new cases of COVID-19 was reported in the community. Of the cases, 55 were in Auckland, 2 in Northland, 7 in Waikato, 10 in the Bay of Plenty, 1 in Lakes District and 16 in Taranaki. All of the Taranaki cases were in Altham. 15 of them announced yesterday, but officially added to our case tally today. The ministry has changed the way it gathers and releases the daily case updates from now to cover from midnight to midnight as opposed to the previous 9am to 9am model. There are 58 people in hospital, four of whom are in ICU, two at Auckland City Hospital and two at Middlemore. COVID was also detected in a wastewater sample collected from Gisborne on December 14. It's the sixth positive wastewater result for Tairawhiti in recent weeks, indicating there may be unknown cases in the community. As the country celebrated 90% of eligible Kiwis now being fully vaccinated, Medsafe announced their approval for the jab for children aged 5 to 11 years. The vaccine is an adapted version of the one used for people aged 12 and older. The provisional approval is for two doses given at least 21 days apart. New Zealand is already one of the most vaccinated countries in the world, slightly ahead of Australia, but behind places like Portugal, United Arab Emirates and Chile. From January though, our vaccination rates will drop significantly as children are then included in the eligible population. While most of the country celebrated today, the news wasn't well received by anti-vax and anti-mandate protesters. Protesters from the Freedom and Rights Coalition arrived at Parliament shortly after midday after a march led by dozens of motorbike riders. Police members at Parliament's forecourt nearly doubled with about 50 officers guarding the entrance. The group protested against the traffic light system, vaccine mandates and the government's plan to vaccinate under 12s from next year. And that's the latest COVID news for today. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.